Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I had to try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Thank you for joining me as we continue our adventure in Blossom Tales. The Sleeping King, you are a Blossom, a Knight of the Rose in this awesome top-down adventure Zelda-like game. And we have to get over to that little yellow square. In the last episode, we, what did we do? We were able to defeat uh, the boss and get the first of three cures that we need to get to save the king. And we are heading off to the second one. And hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, we have discussed a little bit about the level design here. I do like the world design, the, uh, the art style and that sort of thing. And even the levels, uh, have good artwork in it, but more of, you know, is it a linear or a uh, kind of like more of a Metroidvania, you know, search kind of uh you know level design do you have to retrace your steps or you know that sort of thing and so far the levels have been uh very fairly linear and we need to go can i go left or right i need to go right here uh i do like how this game does a few of the elements uh such as the bombs and arrows and that sort of thing they are uh all used of magic instead of having a specific amount that you have to find or buy or that sort of thing so if i put down a bomb you can see it used a little bit of that green bar unfortunately for lily an entire bandit camp stood between her and the gasping marshes I bet they keep all their stolen stuff there. Bandit hideouts always have big stashes of gold. So this story is a story of a grandfather telling his two grandchildren the story of Blossom Tell. So that's kind of, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted health pushes there, okay. So it's kind of like a story inside of a story and I really uh, like that kind of aspect of it. It's different, it's fun, it's whimsical and they do a lot of fun work with it too. Um, how they um, handle some of the elements of uh, you know what you would encounter, uh, bosses and other things like that. I won't go into too deep much detail but um because i don't want to spoil anything but they do a lot of fun things like that that um are are responsive to the or specifically uh mechanics that are addressed because of the uh story within a story aspect of it so uh, let's see if we can kill all these bandits and of course you cannot have a top-down adventure without Breaking all the pots. So we got to go break all the pots. So we also have a Shovel Which allows you to dig. Oh, no, no, not there. You can dig anywhere you want, but these little like shadow spots Are you get items for it? So we found a butterfly. Let's see what else we can find here um, All kinds of gold Look at that treasure. Uh, and there's different things that you can find. Um, I think one of the times I found a heart piece, so you just gotta check them all um, and see, whoa, a health potion. That is definitely a good thing. Now let's switch. Always try to switch it back because I do not wanna try to dig in a dungeon when I go to throw a bomb. That's not gonna help me at all. But let's gather up all the stuff that I can. The poor little guy is chained to the wall. That is so unfortunate. Ooh, more money. Sweet. I bet you there is a, I better get that gold coin. Um, a, uh, uh, something behind that rock. We'll, we'll blow that up in it. I'm trying to think of a cave or a secret passage or something. There's something going to be there. I 
would have to uh, guess. Ouch, that little, that blew up. Uh, what about here? There's another rock. Can I just blow that up? Is that going to be helpful? Ooh, found a hole. Found a hole. Found a hole. I don't think these bandits were very nice because they have people chained to the wall for a very, very long time. So that's not a good thing. Oh, a treasure chest. Sweet. I was, I was sort of right. There was something to go into. It was just the wrong rock. Wow, this must be their loot. Loot uh, spot. Give me all the stuff. You can, I believe, yeah, pick up and throw the, the, the um, jars too if you want. I do not know if the jars are projectiles as well. I don't know if they would actually hurt enemies if you would happen to throw one at them. So maybe we'll check that out. I have played through this, but it has been a while ago and I do not remember all the ins and outs of the uh, game. So I thought it was a would be a fun game to show off. Um, I like that the elements of it and the uh, retro vibe that it has as well. And there's not much more classic retro than like a top-down uh, adventure game. That's, there are a lot of them and some very famous ones that uh, definitely help define the, uh, you know, right. oh yeah, we got another heart, sweet. So that was our fourth heart piece. As you can see now, the heart is, um, well, that little heart right there to the right is uh, empty. We had three, we found a fourth and we get an extra heart. Um, I really don't like that aspect. Um, in Zelda 1, the original Legend of Zelda, uh, you uh, found a heart piece, you got a full heart. Um, I don't recall the other ones as much, uh, but I do know uh, in Ocarina of Time, you had to fall out. The thing did the exact same thing last time. Uh, in a green of time, you had to find four heart quarters to get a whole heart. And I'm not much, I'm more, much more of a casual player and the uh, continual search. Hold on. As Lily approached the bridge, she knew she must, she was walking into a trap. That's when the bandit leader appeared. You mean the pirate queen? No, their leader was um a pageant ninja. Oh wow. Pirate queen. <laughs> pageant ninja. So the kids are trying to uh uh argue over what it was. And this is the good fun thing is that you know at certain points the kids argue over what's coming up in the story and you get to choose. So we're gonna choose Bandit Queen this time, or Pirate, uh, put them together. Uh, a Pirate Queen this time. I've asked you already. This here be our bridge. The only way ye shall pass is without ye head, lass. Attack, you filthy bog scum. Well, that was kind of uh rude i do believe uh i didn't really do anything to you guys we're just gonna go like spam in this button <laughs> uh probably should play a little bit more careful don't think i'll be as easy to defeat as those poop decks okay those actually weren't that easy i got a lot ouch a lot of my health out but these the bandits are a very um um predictable uh enemy you they they kind of charge at you or do a jump attack and then there's a a pause so you kind of get them to do something you know jump at you and then you come in for the attack and he's throwing parrots at me and i don't think that's a very fun thing you should not be throwing your aminals that is not a good idea that is very mean to the aminals uh, how would you how would you like it if someone went around throwing you around ouch? Uh, we're getting a little low on health. I hope she dies soon I do have three health potions, so I'm not really worried. She's not doing a whole lot of damage So I think I'll have time to uh, 
react if I have to to kind of get her to jump at you and then uh, hopefully you're not too far away uh oh uh, let's go ahead and heal uh, it's a timing and like I, I don't Zelda wasn't that bad because Zelda in uh, the Legend of Zelda on the NES your sword just kind of poked out in front of you uh, in A Link to the Past, I do recall the sword had a um, an arc to it that the game interpreted. So if, you know, you weren't in the right place or the, or the enemy had a shield up the way you were swinging your sword, it would block it. But if you were on the other side of him, he, would, he wouldn't be able to block it. And this game here has that same kind of mechanic that your sword is uh, a real arc swing and it matters where you are in relationship to the uh, person so if you do pick up the game and you play it or you have played it uh, that might be a little bit of a tip for you guys to uh, you know to keep in mind as you come through here I cannot I've done a lot of damage to her and there's no way she's like should be surviving all the ouch that parrot came out of nowhere uh out of came out of her hat why am i might not hurting her the right way do i need like throw bombs at her or something oh that was a nice little hit um there we go the young knight defeated the bandit leader the path to the gasping marches was now clear. oh we got another quarter heart for that awesome okay what square do i need to be in Oh, the next, no, this one is the right square, the correct square. Let's search around, see a bit. Let's see if we can find a heart in some of this grass over here because I definitely could use a little bit of health here. And I might be able to get it in the marsh as well. When you're fighting enemies, they seem to be a little bit more, um, The, the enemies will be more likely to give you a heart than like the grass or, or anything like that. So let's go on into the gasping marsh. Okay, then we get to unlock. I do like this, the, uh, a, a very uh, large, uh, you know, map with, you know, certain areas. Um, it's very, you know, areas that you might have to come back through and stuff like that. I really do like that they have these little, uh, teleportation squares. Um, oh, get up there. That's what I want. So this, I can teleport to any of the teleport stations that I've already been to. Uh, so, uh, that's really kind of nice here. Ooh, I guess we're going, uh -oh. we got ghosts in the marsh. They, they kind of act like, um, ow, come on, get away. How am I going to hit this guy if I can't, maybe I can't hit him. Oh, oh, ah, run, run away. I don't think I can hit him, but let's just get out of here. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. I do not recall. Is there a little square somewhere? I need to go. I am not going the right way. Um, they kind of act like what's the, uh, the, um, booze or shy, shy guys that's what they're called um maybe down this way i'm not sure if i could hit them or not they didn't seem to it'd, it'd be hard to hit them um because as soon as i turn around they kind of go ether uh ethereal i believe is the word i am looking for let's see what this ghost uh, can i just kill this ghost ouch that oh, that would help bombs are useful against these guys i guess Bombs do seem to be... Oh, nope, wrong way. What's that? I don't know what that... I found little balls or little battery packs. That's what, kind of what they look like. Battery packs. Oh, I keep on hitting the wrong button. Okay, we need to go kind of up this way, I think. If I can. I really could use some health here. Ouch. Let's just shoot myself with the bomb or hit myself with the bomb. That's going to be helpful. Here we go. I like these reeds. These reeds are kind of cool looking. Can't go that way. Up. Can 
I need to go off to the right, I believe. I keep on hitting the wrong button accidentally. Uh, the start button is... Oh, come on, run, 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 run. Oh, there we go. The start button brings up your menu and the uh, select button brings up the map and I keep on, for some reason, hitting the wrong one. There we, go. we got those out of the way. Uh, can I just throw the bomb at that guy? There's some coming in that way. I like that the bombs are taking these guys out pretty easily. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I think that guy calls in the ghost, it seems like, because... Oh, 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 oh gosh. Oh, no, run, run it, run it, run it! Can I get that guy in there? Yeah, there we go. Let's see, I don't know if the boats... Bo boats the uh, ghosts are really... Oh, no, 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 don't like you. I have a shield, I believe. Can I... Can I... Can I no, oh, that's not what I wanted to do! Am I, I thought I had a shield, but... Oh, I got to put it as one of the... Okay, yeah, I could do it. There we go. So I could do that to that guy, probably. I did not really want to use my health potion, but that works. Ooh, there's a button. I wonder what that button does. Hmm. Over and up. Let's go over and up. And again, I like the way this guy... The, the game handles the um, map. It's not telling you exactly where to go. It's telling you the square. And then once you're in that square, you've got to kind of figure it out on your own, what you need to do to get into the dungeon or whatever. That's not gonna blow up. That, that, oh. That might end up, oh, that did not hurt me. Oh, no, no, it didn't hurt them either. For some reason. That's okay. I'm in the correct square. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Watch, watch out. Where are you? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I wonder if that's. Yep, it does. Sweet. Okay, we got a torch here and a torch. Oh. Um. I'm thinking that. I need to light this, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that right now. It's, oh, there's, there it is. Oh, oh, no, no, he came out of, eh. I thought I saw him. So I need to go around, run around. And I'm gonna have to pull out my bow here. Oh, let's see if I can block it. I think I'm probably too far away from him, yep. I hit him on accident. He kind of came up in the wrong spot there, buddy. Uh, you chose a poorly. <laughs> like, I didn't mean to hit you with my arrow. Seriously, you stepped in the wrong place. I want to get rid of these guys. They're a little annoying. Here we got him. Okay. Now we might have to, I'm going to assume, oh, wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> well, I want to keep my bombs that there. There we go. I want to keep my bombs on the on the same button so I don't mess that up. Oh, there it goes up there. Okay, I say, um, maybe I should just hold this for a little bit because it looks like we're gonna need it. Teleport again, which is nice. The marshes were a great challenge, but Lily bravely made it out alive. I'm not sure if I made it out. How the dragon's head roared while revealing the entrance to the boiling caverns. Boiling caverns is not a place that sounds like I want to be, but we've got to go save our king. We it is this i'm curious as to what that does but we're gonna head on in let's go into the dragon's mouth that sounds like an a smart thing stitch a soft welcome the young knight as she stepped inside the boiling boiling caverns lava surged beneath the floor and living flames danced in the great hall 
so yeah so the dungeons are very much reminiscent of a link to the past um the way they are well the way they're designed more than anything else because um they have this you know very vertical depth to them although it is 2d um which is something that was really impressive uh with a link to the past that they were able to um you know make that effect and even almost have a uh a simulation of floors when there actually was not any uh was really one of the things that really impressed me with the link of the past i got hit i got burned she he singed my hair hair so we got that and i have a way of going through dungeons um uh, i typically go through uh always go left at first and then i will always go through um open doors first versus locked doors so we can't go that way we can't go that way um i guess if we can go up that way so i guess that is going to be the way we go and then of course we have a map here of the dungeon and then it shows kind of the square we need to go but we don't know how to get there yet we just have our location in the square and then the map will show as we go and it's a pretty neat detailed map that you know kind of shows a little bit of the layout of where you know what everything looks like okay so that came down i need to keep oh no we didn't want to do that let's hit that again okay let's go let's go i kind of want to run out of here because i'm worried about the rocks i hit i want to try to hit as many of these as i can as i go through here there we go we got two of them down let's see if we can head on out there we go and oh i thought i still had a uh, a little bit of hurt there's the red switch so this looks going to look like a very not i wouldn't say linear but almost circular map uh from the look at it it looks like it's going to be uh very much like um uh, the not dodongo's cavern the lava one uh, when you're adult link on Ocarina of Time, you keep on revisiting this main room as you are uh, going through the dungeon. So we'll be doing. Ouch! You jerk! You're not supposed to hit me with fire, buddy. Uh, so yeah, so you keep on coming back through this room as you you go out to this little area, a little circle, and then come back to the main room. Uh, which uh, has a new door unlocked and then you will uh, When you go that way you unlock a another door. So uh, that's kind of the way it looks like it's gonna be um, It's kind of linear but not at the same time. So it's a little I'm gonna try to avoid as many of these little jets of flame as I can I keep on hitting these guys and that's as she turns around like that she can easily get uh, hit by someone as you can see I've done that several times already where she's uh, kind of spinning as she swings her sword and ouch you just run right into them too that doesn't help you any at all I probably should uh, shoot an arrow a little bit or just be a little less reckless as I go in to fight these guys because the arc of the sword is a fairly uh, continual like front attack it's not like it doesn't leave me uh, it's a nice forward attack uh, that you know guards my whole area but if they come in at the side or something to that effect it does leave me open or if I'm trying ouch do a little uh spin attack or try to come in and attack and run away i can leave my back unguarded so we got to be uh careful about that it's getting hot up in here Ooh all the flames and the fire now give me a couple hearts any hearts oh yeah give me a heart yay i'm gonna try that more often 
and so yeah you come out here you hit another switch and it goes down again so very similar to um you know like i said um oh ouch that is not what i hoped would happen here i wonder if this wait nope this would help me that is well. will that go over no that does not go over either unfortunately nope nope but what, what do i want to do oh i'm up there let's go there uh shoot i didn't mean to hit it again okay i know that that's what the switch does uh, i'm trying to get i know i could jump down there but i was trying to find a, a good spot to jump down there i need to stop being so aggressive i am a very uh although patient and casual uh player i i push it a lot and i don't know why i run and uh be a lot very aggressive when i'm attacking enemies and that sort of thing which i probably should try to do a little less of here to get this demon bat guy out of my hair let's see i don't like these fire guys they're everywhere one of the things that is a little frustrating about the game is that the as you come back the air uh the um rooms are repopulated which are a little bit frustrating uh you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna deal with that bad guy <laughs> just don't want to deal with them i think we'll run this little side and then we will probably time is getting low on us here um so we're gonna go and uh, sneak our way through here and he, he's not even on the walkway that's not fair you just got to be patient here's here's some of the ones that like uh, a puzzle or not really a puzzle but a part of the game that is not my strong point about being patient and just walking when you can and not trying to go too fast um really is uh difficult for me <laughs> i just want to run through here but a lot of the places like this you will start back over if you fall it's not like it shoots you or gives you a knockback you will start back at the beginning of the uh the room when you, if you fall in the lava so it's not something that you really want to push because then you just got to do it all over again and that is definitely frustrating hey we found a key i think that is probably a good place to start that'll probably open up this front door here i would say ouch let's uh i guess i i don't really shouldn't worry about clearing all these guys out because i know that um it will just probably though i think they'll come back um if i when i come back in the game so uh we're gonna we're gonna clear them out anyways <laughs> uh they look like they're laughing at me and I, I don't think that's cool they're like little laughing fireballs and i don't like that they're they're making fun of me and 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 we're gonna show who's boss oh yeah sweet okay we gotta watch out for the little fires uh, the little lava patches i mean like who builds a guy okay fine you like power you like uh you know the destructive forces of a volcano that's fine build your temple in there but dude don't make little patches of of uh ground where you accidentally can walk onto the lava now this is okay you know that's cool there's lava down there it's hot but you know why would anybody put this right here in their uh dungeon that just doesn't seem uh very smart but anyways thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it i uh, hope you guys are doing well out there and um yeah just thank you for watching it, it means a lot to me and uh i'll see you next time bye everybody